Hey everybody, this is Captain X24 bringing you another part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Alright, in this part we are going to head over and try and find carbon in the ocean realm. So, let's do this. We can finally cross the bridge. Because, you know, it's fixed now. And, um... Uh, just go there. It's nice not having to abide to stupid rules anymore because we're not carrying anyone. Thankfully, we don't have to take the bridge worker back. I think. I sure hope so, anyway. But I'm pretty sure we don't. So. That's, that's certainly good. And for now, well, actually, we should be in the ocean realm any second now. It's right up there. It actually doesn't look too different from forest. And there we go. Right, here we are. Yeah, it doesn't look too different from forest. I mean, the trees are a bit different. Obviously, you've got, like, the ocean. But, um, you know, grass is still green. Same kind of texture. Up here, we got somewhere we're going to need to stop. There we go. This is called Papucha Village. Kind of seems like a gloomy place. The vultures really add to that. I think they're vultures. That's kind of what they look like. They're some sort of birds. And uh, it almost sort of reminds me of Kakeriko. Because Kakeriko, with the music, it seemed kind of like a gloomy place. A little bit. I don't know. You can talk to the people. Um... Apparently, they've got someone called the Wise One. If you go over here, it's a lady selling fish. And, um, a shop, regular shop. Nothing special here, I think. Yeah, nothing special. Let's just leave there. I realized shortly after this that, uh, you actually don't really need to do anything in the village quite yet. So, um, if you need anything, pick it up at the shop, but other than that, we're gonna, you know, uh, get going, because we got somewhere else to go, and then we can return to the Papucha Village. Well, anyway, let's get going, because Carbon's certainly not here, so let's proceed forward. And let's just go there. It's a straight line. I think you've... Right. This is where the fun begins. Is it? It might be. Or well, that might not even be for a little bit. That actually might be on the way back. I don't even know. There you have one of those enemies. If you hit them, you get a rupee every time you hit them, and eventually they'll split into two. They were in Phantom Hourglass, so sh if you played that, they shouldn't exactly be anything new. And they disappear when they hit the ground. Ah, there we go. Stop here. This is the Ocean Sanctuary. Alright, let's go. Um, I think we're supposed to go this way. Pretty sure we are. Here we got one of those crab things. With a, It's a crab thing with like a big stone arm. And it won't let you pass. And I think it'll even attack you. One easy way is to hit them with your boomerang by making their boomerang go, your boomerang go around them. Uh, another easy way, if you... If you are lucky enough and quick enough, you can actually get past them like that. You might take a hit, but, you know, it's certainly quicker. Oh, and a, uh, a wood heart. There we go. Some bombs. We're going to need them soon. 
Right, um... Hmm. Yeah, in that case, we're probably going to need to put a bomb down here. And let's hope that works. Personally, I like that puzzle quite a bit. Because, um, it kind of brings back, like, an old idea that they had in the first dungeon. And I like it when they kind of, you know, make you actually use your older items. And not just, okay, the dungeon's over, we're done. Um... Uh, this game sometimes does that, but and usually Zelda games are pretty good about that. They actually make you use your older items. So let's see. Here we are, and um, there's six statues. Forgot what it's going to ask. Follow the gazes of the statues. Trace their paths to open the door. Right. Um, so then, what we're going to want to do go to the statue and draw the way it's facing on the map so I'll cut away to when I have that done alright so when you're done you should have something that looks kinda like this uh, this part where there's the Octorox you gotta throw your boomerang at that switch other than that you really shouldn't have any problems and on the other side you're gonna need to use a cuckoo to fly from uh, from about here to over here so uh, so that's really shouldn't be that difficult to figure out so you're supposed to draw it um, it's just the way you draw it is got it um, right right I think you're supposed to draw the way their gazes go all the way what the heck There we go. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot to extend these lines like that. Whatever. Uh, we won't even need that anymore. So here we are. And... Carbon's not here. A little sign. That's it. I'm at Papucha Village visiting my sky friends. So now we're supposed to go to Papuchia. Kind of forgot about that. Um, thought we were supposed to stop there first. So we didn't even have to stop there, technically. At least I don't think we did. So um, I guess in the next part, we're going to be getting back over to Papuchia. And uh, I guess if you like this video, then please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.